Waynesburg County, and all other surrounding county. Run and grab the sheriff by his hand. Take him around and around the county. Once you reach downtown, you won't be alone. You have T.Y. with the mic. Putting the bass in your air drum. Facts remain the same. Turn down the bass, push that button, and follow us. Welcome to Christian News T.Y. My name is Sandra Coates. We're here on Highway 521 in Williamsburg County. What you see behind me is St. Lawrence Community Center that has been here for over 50 years. Many decades, citizens have come to St. Lawrence Community Center. For many years, the pool was the highlight of the community center. Two of the lifeguards that worked here was Anita James and the Sheriff of Williamsburg County in his younger days. This week, Caesar McKnight brought good news to Williamsburg County. Good afternoon, uh, Madam Supervisor and Councilmen and Councilwomen. Um, it's good to be here um, tonight before you with some good news. Um, I grew up in Salters in the St. Lawrence community. Um, small, rural community, like most of us, poor, but we had some resources. And one of our greatest resources was the St. Lawrence Community Center because we had a community pool. And for us little rural kids, almost everyone in my neighborhood could swim. And that's because of that pool. Um, it's been a staple in the St. Lawrence community for over 50 years. And as with most things, time goes on and they wear down. But in this instance, um, we've been blessed with the opportunity to get some funds that we know that the county didn't have to revitalize uh, the pool. I reached out to our county supervisor, um, Dr. Cooks, about two years ago. And I said, Dr. Cooks, you know, my kids, what do I call them, my kids, the kids in my neighborhood, the pool hasn't been open. And she explained to me that, hey, pool has some serious issues, and we don't necessarily have the revenue. So that's when I began the endeavor of approaching people at the State House, trying to get those funds so that we could get that pool done. And so I reached out to Dr. Cooks. She provided me with an estimate, and I went to work. Um, I am not on the, ch on the uh, Ways and Means Committee at the State House, so like everyone else, you have to stand there and wait with your hat in hand. But one of the good things that happened is we ended up with a new Ways and Means Chairman. Um, and his name is G. Merle Smith, and he's from Sumter. And so he's not from here, but he's close enough from here to really take an in interest in what it is. And when I laid out to him what the pool was for, and when I asked him for the money, he said, don't worry about it. We'll make sure that we get it to you. So I'm proud to tell you all this evening that we have secured the funds for you for the revitalization of the St. Lawrence Community Center pool. And that amount is, I believe, $250,000. So on behalf of myself, uh, Representative Carl Anderson and Senator Saab, the Williamsburg County, Dele County Legislative Delegation proudly presents to Williamsburg County a check in the amount of $250,000 for the renovation of the St. Lawrence Community Pool. Um, I'd like to read something that the Williamsburg County Sheriff, Stephen R. Gardner, said about St. Lawrence Community Center. I am excited that Representative Caesar McKnight, along with our delegation, has made it possible for the St. Lawrence Pool to be restored. Like Representative McKnight, during the summer as a kid and teenager, I swam at the pool. Also, I had the opportunity to lifeguard at the St. Lawrence Pool under the training of a great man named Julius Wilson. If Mr. Wilson were here today, I could see him smiling and whistling, looking forward to floating in the pool without even moving. St. Lawrence Pool is truly a treasure in our county that has afforded so many people the opportunity to swim. Sheriff Stephen R. Gardner. The facts remain the same. I put my finger in the ground and turn the world around. My name is T. 
Wow, 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 wow.